Thank you, KEH Camera, for sponsoring this video. All right, so I, I honestly didn't think this through. I'm standing outside on a on what is a uh, very toasty January day in Detroit, Michigan. If you didn't get that sarcasm, it is absolutely not toasty whatsoever. It is absolutely freezing. I'm only wearing this sweater for whatever reason. Um, wasn't my smartest choice in um, clothing today, but we, we the, the show must go on. Honestly, I just wanted y'all to, um, you know, I'm saying see the fit and all that. So um, other than that, I made a terrible choice, but I will not prolong my coldness by standing out here talking about things I don't need to talk about. But since we're out here and there's, you know what I'm saying, kind of no going back, we're going to be shooting with the Yashica T4 Super D weatherproof. So let's do that. All right, so as y'all can see, we are no longer in Detroit, Michigan. We are in the sunshine state of Florida. But before we go on and finish talking about the Yashica T4, let's just give a special thanks to the sponsor of this video, which is KEH Camera. So if you're anything like me and you're looking to buy a camera, you're looking to buy that camera at a discount. KEH Camera is by far the best place to buy and sell used gear. 
with a 180 day warranty, a 14 day return policy, and $49 and up, you really can't beat that because most places that sell used gear don't offer any of these benefits at all. Of course, depending on what you're buying, you may come across some cosmetic blemishes, but that of course doesn't affect the quality of image you may get out of this camera gear. To me, KEH camera is the most trustworthy place to buy and sell used gear, so I've been using them well before they were a sponsor of this channel. So thank you KEH camera for sponsoring this video. We're gonna finish this video up by sitting by the pool. It's the sun on my face. Nice. All right, so yeah, the Yashica T4 Super D weatherproof. All right, so if y'all follow the channel and y'all have seen the other videos I've done using point and shoot cameras, y'all know that my take on point and shoot cameras are that they're point and shoot cameras. To me, they pretty much all kind of perform the exact same way. Some are built a little bit better than others. Some have a little bit um, better features than others. Some have better lenses than other ones. But at the end of the day, um, a point and shoot image is a point and shoot image. And you cannot, you can kind of always tell, and you can kind of always tell what photos were taken on a point and shoot as soon as you see them. The Yashica T4 falls into the line of those other point and shoots that are just point and shoots. This one just so happens to have a Carl Zeiss 3.5 lens on it. My Contax T2 also has a Carl Zeiss lens built into it. So um, this camera and my Contax T2 have similar glass attached to them. I do very much like this camera a lot. And the reason that I wanted to use it so much was, <laughs> hello. Okay. I kind of do like this camera a little bit better than my Contax T2 though. One, because I really do like the super scope on it. Granted, I didn't really use it much and I don't use it much, but basically they have what I would consider a waist level viewfinder on the top of this camera. They call it a super scope, but you can basically compose, set up your shots and do all the things you need to do by just looking straight down from here into the camera. Um, you don't have to put your eye up to the camera, but I will say that in some cases it is kind of hard to see what you're focusing on and what's in frame, but it is a point and shoot. So I personally do like looking down into this viewfinder and just taking a photo like that. And also if you're like taking pictures of people and you don't necessarily want them to act different because the camera's on them or you don't want them to change what they're doing, um, Putting the camera up to your eye does cause a lot of focus. I mean, does cause a lot of attention to yourself and let people, and it's letting people know that you're indeed taking or about to take a photo of them. So being able to just like look down into the camera and not, and people not really know what you're doing or what you're looking at, um, kind of gives it a better, kind of gives you a better, it makes it better for getting actual candid moments. So I do very much like that about this camera. A couple of things I don't like about this camera is that when you turn it on, it's always in flash mode and you have to, you know, remember to turn the flash off if you don't want to take flash photos with the camera. But if I'm being honest and, you know, realistic, the point and shoot, the, the, the T4 is, it is indeed, like I said at the beginning of this video, just a point and shoot. As I said before though, point and shoots are very popular because anybody who's anybody can have a point and shoot at all times and always take pictures of things and their families and trips or whatever they do. It doesn't take up too much space and you don't need to know how to actually be a photographer to use a point and shoot. I do think my Contax T2 is broken or something about it is just not working properly. Basically when I turn it on, it turns on and it works properly, but like when it takes a picture, it kind of pauses and then um, it freezes up and then like, it'd take the picture like five seconds after I pressed the button. Um, I don't know, it's weird. It doesn't do it all the time, but it does it sometimes. So I, I'm, I am thinking that a, a part of that camera um, is malfunctioning. So I'm either going to get it fixed or I'm going to sell it and just use the T4 instead, but I'm not sure. To me, they both kind of have the same quality. The T2 is definitely built better, has a 2.8 lens instead of a 3.5, but I don't really think that matters, especially if Sometimes, for the most part, I'm using the flash on this camera. I'm not taking it out to go take actual, like, photos that I'm gonna use for my book or anything like that. So, um, just candid photos, photos to have with friends and families and pets and trips and stuff like that. So, I wouldn't say that it's not anything special, but um, it, it, does, it definitely doesn't need, it definitely, it's definitely not that deep. 
I do need to thank Mish though for gifting me this camera for Christmas. I seen him shooting with one one time when we were out and I was like, wow, really want that camera and he got me one for Christmas. So thank you, Mish, I appreciate it. We've now been in Florida for about a week now and I haven't used it at all. I've just been using my GA645. <laughs> but um, I think over the next couple of weeks, like Amal's family's coming in and um, we're gonna be doing a little bit more things. So I might just be taking this out with me. So um, I think it's gonna come in handy for this trip. And just like while we're chilling in the pool, um, I don't, I definitely don't want to like somehow drop my camera into the pool or drop the GA645 into the pool. I also don't want to drop this into the pool, but um, if I drop this into the pool on accident, I would feel a little bit better than I would if I, if I dropped the, the other camera. So sorry, Meech. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the Yashica T4 Super D, weatherproof, must be weatherproof and have a Super D pause. But anyway, that's probably gonna wrap it up. Y'all know I don't really have too much to talk about. I just rambled y'all ears off for no reason about nothing. So that's gonna wrap up the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, thank you. Subscribing would be very much appreciated if you're already subscribed to the channel. I'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do. Um, we're gonna get up out of here, go do some shit, enjoy this Florida sun, enjoy this Florida weather, just relax for a little bit. We definitely got some Florida videos coming. So, you know, tune in to that. But anyway, tune in to that. But anyway, uh, we're gonna get out of here, man. Go do some shit. You know the vibes. Let's get it.